Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, we're continuing in Matthew 25, and these are parables of judgment. This is really just continuing Jesus' discussion on the end times. Uh, and he has three parables of warning. And Matthew 25, verse 14, is the story of the parable of the talents, where Jesus says the kingdom of heaven is like a man who goes on a journey, and he calls his servants together, and he divides his, um, you know, his property between them. And to one, he gives five talents, which is a measure of money. To another, he gives two talents. To another, one talent, according to their ability. And then he departs, uh, doesn't tell him when he's coming back. And then the first servant takes his five talents and earns five more. The second servant takes the two talents and earns two more. The third servant uh, buries his talent in the ground. Eventually, the master comes home and he calls his servants to give an account for what they've done with the money. And the first servant comes and says, see, master, you entrusted me with five talents. See, I've earned five more. And the master says, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a little. I will put you in charge of much. Come and enter your master's happiness. Uh, the second servant comes and says, Master, you entrusted two talents to me. See, I've made two more. And the master again says, Well done, good and faithful servant. You've been faithful with a little. I will put you in charge of much. Come and enter your master's happiness. Third servant comes. This is where it gets a little bit, uh, you know, scary. He says, uh, Master, I knew you to be a harsh man and you gather where you didn't sow seed and you reap where you didn't sow. He goes, uh, so I took your talent and hid it and buried it in the ground. Here's your money back. And the master says, you wicked, lazy servant. If you knew that I was a harsh master and that I gather where I didn't scatter seed and reap where I didn't sow, then you should have at least put my money with the banker and received interest from it. And then he said, take the talent from this man and give it to the one who has 10. For the one who has nothing will be taken from him and the one who has uh, an abundance more will be given to him. And then take this servant, this wicked, lazy servant and cast him into the outer darkness where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth. Now, it's a parable of warning and there's some things, and by the way, I wanna preach right now, but there's just a couple of things I, I wanna share with you, a couple of takeaways. First of all, God expects his servants to be fruitful, to be productive. And by the way, faithfulness equals fruitfulness. All right? If you read this parable, faithfulness equals fruitfulness. Well done, good and faithful servant was for the servants who produced, not for the servant who just maintained. Uh, now, personally, what does that mean? Personally, that means that we bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our lives, that we see the work of God in us producing fruit, such as love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, yes, and even self-control. The second part of it is in ministry or in kingdom building, we are leading people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus, that we are fruitful in seeing people uh, declare Christ as their Lord and Savior. See, God reward, and the second thing is, God rewards faithfulness. Okay, when we're faithful, God actually rewards us for us being faithful uh, and more responsibility and more influence when we've been faithful with what he's given us. And by the way, it's the opposite of what I was taught. I grew up in little churches and medium-sized churches, and they always said, well, we're not growing, but we're faithful. We don't have very many people, but we're faithful. And, and that's the cry of dying churches. We're not doing much for God, but we're faithful. And um, I hate to say this, but if they're in the story, they're the wicked, lazy servant because they're not doing anything with what God has done. And I know that sounds harsh, but these are parables of warning. We need to heed that warning. So one last question, because I can't preach. Uh, are you being productive for Jesus with your time, with your talent, with your intellect, with your creativity? Are you being productive for Jesus with your money? See, at the end, I want to hear, well done, good and faithful servant. And as your pastor, I want you to hear, well done, good and faithful servant. So uh, hear the words of Jesus and let them speak to your heart and let's be faithful together. God bless.